Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I don't know if this is in Doctor Who December, so hello, welcome. Um, if you're new here, my name is Mary Claire, thank you so much for joining me. Please excuse the wet hair, Mary Claire is back, the casual t-shirt is on, it's just one of those days, it's just a cosy, it's the 21st of December, my goodness. Shortest day of the year today, right? I think so. Um, okay, so it's time for Time Flight. I saw the title at the end of Earthshock because I was in shock over Adric dying and Brickbox have this bad habit now where the next titles just roll. <coughs> um, Adric is dead. Um, probably still one of the most shocking moments I've ever had in Doctor Who. Um, because I just wasn't expecting a companion to be killed off. Um, what I'm intrigued to see happen now is obviously this must be the last story of this season. So are we building up to new companions? How is this going to affect Tegan and Nyssa? Because it's probably going to massively affect them. Especially as you kind of rely on the Doctor. You assume the Doctor is always going to keep you safe and this one time he didn't he wasn't able to rescue Adric. So I'm just intrigued to see how the dynamic changes. I kind of feel like the Doctor's gonna have to prove himself a little bit to them in this. Time flight, this, I mean, I really like the title because it kind of leaves it completely open. I'm just intrigued to see what happens. But yeah, poor old Adric, like bloody hell, that was a shock, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Yeah, I don't think I'll, I'm not sure, I'm like, yeah even to my boyfriend i was like they killed off a companion like what the hell he was like oh i'm sorry i was like it's, it's okay but it was still a lot um but yes if you're interested in the full length stay over on patreon and let's crack on oh my god it's not this gonna be captain Leopard again it's not gonna be tegan we're still traveling supersonically Where's it going? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So we're, we're going to be back in Tegan's time. Give me flashbacks to the second doctor. That's incredible. So excited by the fact we're in the 80s. Yes, the RT started a break up and the transponder signal just faded from the screen. Doctor, you've done it again. <laughs> Nonsense. Be away from here in no time. Would you be so good as to open it up, sir? Is that a good idea? I must insist, sir, security. No. You do much better to check with unit department C19. Sir John Sudbury's the man you want. And who exactly are you, sir? Oh, just tell him, Mr. Doctor. And do send my regards to Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart. Unless, of course, he's a general by now. Don't I swear to you if we have you in it. We'll be gone in a couple of shakes. <laughs> Where are we going? Did you feel something? If it's somewhere exciting, sure. we're going on holiday. Oh, well, We've lost them. Another Concord. So, so much for the doctor. Where have they gone? So it's someone else saying they can land? Is 
where you thought we were, Captain. Heathrow, some 140 million years ago. The Ice Age? There's times like this, I wish I still had my scarf. Better watch out for the odd brontosaurus. Were they the creatures I saw? I doubt it, but I should think they came from this time zone. Do you really mean we, we've gone backward down a time contour? Have you another explanation? Where's but the Concorde? How did we land on this? It's the other Concorde! Uh, Tegan, wait! Uh, all of you, stay here. Just get back on the Concorde, that's what I'd do. You're so I love that there's just like three pilots there as well. Hey, Angela! Drew, you didn't tell me you had a New York stopover. What are you talking about? Look, old chap, this is all a bit of a snare and a delusion. Andrew, we've got a few chores to do. See you in the bar in half an hour. Look, snap out of it. You're not in New York. The captain wants us to try that new Indonesian restaurant he's found. We'll have to grab them. Bloody loved that episode, by the way. So glad to be back in the 80s. You know how I feel about Earth stories. I just really enjoy them. Um, the whole idea of like the Concorde traveling in time. Um, the mention of Unit and the Brigadier. I was like, Ugh. are we gonna see him? But it's probably way too late to see him. Um, then ending up on this planet, the guy. Reminded me of one of the guys from Talons, but he almost looks a bit like stone-like. Then obviously you've got the other stone things appearing. I hope it doesn't get too weird because I that was like a 10 out of 10 episode. Um, also love the idea that there's just like pilots, like grown men, just like ended up here. Like, what's going on? I really liked it. <coughs> I also suspected the beginning bit with the discussion about Adric and you know, them kind of losing their faith in the Doctor a little bit. I just kind of assumed that that was, that that was inevitable. Um, but the Doctor made a valid point, like, that Adric chose to do that. Like, he chose to run out of the, the escape pod. So, yeah, it's still really sad that he passed away. Um, but yes, I loved that so much. Time flight. Oh, I'm very excited. Um, and when they said about there's obviously like a, a man has done this I was like the master have we got the master again already so yes um I will leave it there for today thank you so much for joining me and I will see you very soon for part